All right, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to mount the actual laser, um, hook up the water supply for the laser, so the water cooling, and hook up the laser to the power supply. And we're going to set up the optics. So try to arrange all the mirrors so that, so that no matter where the laser head is, the laser beam always is focused in the middle in the middle of the lens. And just some short information on this, or just short facts on this laser tube. It's a bit older as you can see, but it still works. We've got this output mirror here, so in this side is basically the output of the laser. This is the um, high voltage ground, and this is the high voltage plus, basically. So at this side we've got uh, about 25,000 volts input voltage. But it's just about 20 milliamps of current, so not a lot of current, but very high voltage. And in this kind of middle, middle thing here, the laser beam gets created, and then the outside is filled with water, so it actually gets cooled. And yeah, I've got the laser tube, which is pretty round. Got, got it mounted to this aluminium extrusion here, so that should be, well, reasonably straight. Then I've got these 3D printed brackets that we can just kind of screw on here and then screw on the laser. All right, I'll do that and see you then. Okay, there it is, mounted. As you can see, it's pretty well fixed on there. And now we can actually hook up the water supply. So I'll hook up these two tubes to um, you can't really see it to this port here and to this port over there and this will just create a new or this will just create a um, flow of water which is supplied from this water bucket here just a little tip in this bucket here there's no normal water this is distilled water. So it's completely demineralized and it's just pure water. And this is, well, first because um, if you've got some stuff in there, minerals, they might um, come out of solution when um, in contact with the hot laser tube or the hot inner laser tube and might over time clog up the laser tube. So that's no good. And second, um, distilled water isn't really conductive actually. It's very very unconductive so if some of this spills for in, in some kind of accident that's not going to be a big problem and normal tap water with minerals or kind of a little bit of salt would actually fry the electronics much much faster so yeah you can get this stuff in basically every store so it's not a big problem and then i've got a submersible pump in there that just pumps the water so it's um kind of a circulation going on. Alright, so I've got the submersible pump hooked up to the power supply. As you can see, this is the cable. It goes to this place over there. And both of the tubes are now in the bucket. So this should actually now start and hopefully we'll see the water Ah, there it goes, and now it's filled. Now you can just maybe occasionally see a bubble flowing by, but now this is completely filled with water, and yeah, I don't see anything leaking, so nice. Okay, so I've got the laser tube installed, everything is working, and I've got the mirrors aligned. Um, and that's a little bit of a process, but I won't go into that. There are a lot of tutorials on how to do that online. And as you can see, I've got some wood here. When I press the laser button, very shortly, I'm just gonna... Oops. And there it is. A very small point, which goes... Oh, I don't think you can actually see it, but it goes all through, through this piece of material. 
so this actually is able to cut now. But of course we can't just we can't just start cutting because we need to install all of the um, stuff here and we need to install all the filters and all the well air filtration because I can actually smell it. this little dot there already produced so much smoke that I, can, that I can smell it right now and you can imagine what that does when you're cutting like a really big thing so I definitely need to install some kind of some sort of filtration but that's gonna take a while and I'll upload a video for that Oh, and another thing that I actually forgot to mention is this um, this tube here, which basically goes to the nozzle right here, so that um, it blows air or pressurized air into the material, which serves two purposes. The first one being just um, blowing all of the molten and burning stuff out of the cut, so it's a cleaner cut, and also it keeps all of the smoke and debris and tar and everything that comes from well, burning stuff from the lens because if the smoke um, settles on the lens then some of the laser beam will be absorbed by this and this will heat up the lens and over time destroy it so you definitely need some kind of pressurized air for cutting with a laser <laughs> 